Hi, my name is Tyron Wells Jr. and I work at Georgia Institute of Technology School of Chemistry and Biochemistry and specifically here at the Institute of Paper Science and Technology. And the kind of work that I do here is turning trees into fat. And I understand that might sound a little bit weird, but it uh, deals with bioconversion, which is taking organic species and converting them into higher utility compounds such as energy resources. So a uh, typical feedstock that we deal with here is wood and wood is a biorenewable resource that's made up of three different major organic compounds and those are cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. Cellulose has a multitude of applications and some of these include the use of cellulose fibers to generate pulp and paper via pulp and paper mills. Lignin doesn't have nearly as many applications as cellulose and because of this it's burnt as a non-optimized fuel in paper mills as a means to recover energy. So what my project deals with is finding potentially more efficient uses of lignin rather than just burning it. Uses that could possibly take a greater advantage of the molecule. And this involves using bacteria to convert lignin into biodiesel. And this process is accomplished in three steps. And generally speaking, those steps are... Growing bacteria that eats lignin that then gets fat from eating the lignin. The fatty oils can then be removed from the bacteria for biodiesel applications, but not all bacteria produce fat equally. And that's why I use bacteria that has the property of being oligenous, and that means that I'm using bacteria that's capable of producing over 20% of their body weight in oil. So I take these oligenous species and I train them to consume lignin in a process known as adaptation. Then I extract the generated lipids from the bacteria in the form of a bio-oil. So this area of research is intriguing because it helps to ensure a domestic supply of biodiesel in the face of diminishing fossil fuels, and it could potentially help to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Plus, the pulp and paper industry already provides an existing infrastructure where lignin can be readily obtained. And that, in essence, is turning trees into fat, or lignin into oil.